Good morning everyone and welcome to another edition of Knockoff Blocks. Today I have for your perusal something that comes all the way from Japan, this Scottish Fold. Yeah, I don't really get it much either, but it's something really, really cute and really, really adorable. And I, well, this was a gift, but I would probably would have bought it anyway if I had known about it. Uh, yes, these are called Petite Blocks and they come from the company called Daiso. And as far as I can tell, Daiso is a sort of like a dollar store company or so, but they do supply a lot of their own products to like third party sellers that use their products for vending purposes. You know, so basically all of those vending machines you see in Japan, uh, basically they might have uh, a lot of these tiny, tiny little uh, Lego knockoff blocks um, inside. Uh, and they are actually really adorable. Um, uh, well, okay, so how tiny am I actually talking? Well, let me just uh, get in, into the frame here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, these things are really tiny, aren't they? Uh, really adorable, man. Um, so let me get a few more things into shot here for a scale. There's a penny, uh, a traditional Lego block. Let me get that right over there. And there we go. So that's basically how small a petite block is. Probably the smallest thing I've ever really seen, or just smallest that I'm willing to work with. Uh, let's, let's, let's just say that. I'm sure there's something on the atomic level that I can put together, but that's really no fun once I'm uh, trying to find it in the carpet, let me just say. Ugh. There was a few parts that I, I lost early on, but uh, but uh, never mind that. Never mind that. These things are really really cool, uh, and they're about one eighth the size of a normal Lego block. Uh, just for comparison, let me just bring in one of the petite blocks here. Swoosh back, kitty. No. Swoosh back. Okay, so here we go. Here's a Lego brick, and here is a petite block, and they are about one eighth the size of a normal Lego block. And the way I can tell that is if you stack two of these guys together, then they make it roughly around one-fourth the size of a Lego block. Let me just uh, show you for comparison purposes. But yeah, I, I say this because uh, it's really interesting how they're able to downscale the Lego brick uh, to such a degree, but they still kind of fall into the, uh, the pitfalls of, well, early Lego, let's just say. Uh, for one, uh, they only have the studs or uh, the tubes on the bottom of the bricks here on the big ones. Uh, these uh, the lawn bricks uh, have no studs on the inside, so they have a tendency to kind of wander on the uh, just well, bad example here, I guess. But they have a tendency to wander quite a bit. Whoop. Anyway, I'll switch this all off to the side and let's just take a look at the kitty, uh, who is really just an adorable little build. Um, I love the use of uh, these bricks here uh, to signify a little bit of a nose and a mouth um, and just really adorable. Uh, oh, actually, you can kind of see what I mean with the tail here, um, which always falls off for some reason. But you see here, the uh, bricks actually have a tendency to slide because there's no tubes on the on the inside. So that's just really the only, fa uh, only fault I see with these things. But all in all, really cute, cute little model. Um, oop, oop. Um, anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's not that many studs on the bottom or tubes on the bottom here either. Uh, but yeah, they give you plenty of uh, spare bricks just in case you happen to lose a few. Um, so there, yeah, there's really no problem there. Uh, let's just move on to uh, one of the other models I have. Okay, next up we have the cute little dolphin, if my autofocus can focus. Uh, isn't he cute there with his uh, little uh, little dorsal fin and his uh, fins there? And I love the, the two-tone colors that they come off with it. Um, this guy was really uh, relatively simple to build uh, comparatively to the cat, um, mostly because um, at this point I was kind of used to building these guys. Uh, they follow a similar formula and with each of the models that, that they produce. Similarly, because they, uh, they follow the old layer-by-layer -layer trick that uh, Lego used to do uh, in the olden days. So basically they would show you this layer and just rough outlines of, of what goes where and then the next layer going on top of that. So you can see that angular brick there goes on that, or that corner brick there goes onto that little part there. And then for the second step, they show you the underside and the white parts that go on the underside. A little tricky, a little, little tricky to get uh, used to, isn't it? Um, so here we go, here's the eye and part of the top of the head there. Uh, thankfully, they do show you the bricks that, uh, that's are, that are required and they do give you some extras in case you lose a few. Um, thankfully they didn't have one with me. Uh, but yeah, so this guy is a little hollow on the inside, so I guess if it's small enough, you could hide it inside of him. Um, 
but the, getting these bricks apart are, are not uh, not very easy. Um, so needless to say, he's rather much a uh, hunter plastic uh, for the time being. Um, yeah, so here we go, a little dorsal fin, just showing you the last few. I love that step, one brick. Just put, put it right there, put it right there. Um, yeah, showing you the last few steps, just so you feel appeased, and there we go. There's the dolphin dude. Get that off to the side. And here he is in real life, what do you know? Uh, yeah, so he's adorable. Um, a lot of, uh, I, I can only imagine a lot of time went into just getting the proportion just right, or at least the molding right. I, I don't know, it's just a little mind-boggling, the size of it. Uh, that isn't to say I will build an entire city with these things, because that would be insane. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's just uh, move on to uh, the last one. All right, last but not least, here's a little whale. He is not he adorable? Uh, I really love his shape the most because it has the most definition on the side there. You get a lot of good angel, uh, angels, a lot of good angels there to show that he's uh, just an immense little chunky buddy. <laughs> he's adorable. I love him. Um, I'll probably be keeping him around the most without his little water spigot on the top here because it uh, unfortunately follows into the same category as the cattail and it just it's impossible to keep just orderly. So anyway, you got a little there. Did that little top off. Anyway, there we go. Cute little whale now. Um, and yeah, um, I might be buying a few more of these guys in the future. Um, but that's probably only for a view type thing or a follow up in case they come out with some really cool models that, you know, tickle me in a certain way. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in some more of this type of thing or some other knockoff blocks, there's a few more coming in the future. So please keep tuned to my station, my channel, or whatever this whole thing is called. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back with some more knockoff things and uh, hopefully some more actual Lego stuff in the future. But for now, knockoff stuff, because uh, that's that's fun, right? Yeah? All right, cool. Uh, and in that case, I'll see you next time. Bye.